everybody. Today what I was going to do was do some planting. It's the beginning of August and even though we're deep into summer, you can still plant summer crops. Depending on where you are, at least for me, I can still plant summer crops. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant a bunch of seeds today that, you know, you probably would be thinking, well, why plant them now? It's like 100 degrees there. It, well, it is. It's very, very hot here. But just because it's in August doesn't mean that you can't still plant summer crops. The key is, is you have to find the, the plants that will do good in this kind of heat. So what I'm going to do, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, I got some dirt in my nails. <laughs> We're ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna plant some stuff. Now I'm also gonna plant probably a few surprises. I'm gonna plant some zucchini seeds, some squash seeds, some other types of squash seeds. Now the main reason I'm gonna plant these seeds is that they, I need to use them. You know, seeds only have so long of a shelf life, and it's definitely time for me to use these seeds or lose them. Use them or lose them. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. We're also going to do some carrots. Now, I know typically you're not, you don't really want to plant when it's super, super hot, but I have a lot of crops that are tall that I'm going to plant the carrots in between the tall uh, plants. So I'm thinking it'll work getting tore up by mosquitoes <clears throat> I'm thinking it's gonna work and if it doesn't well then I know it doesn't work but we're gonna do some rainbow carrots here some just red carrots and then I also want to do some more cucumbers because the cucumbers that are back here are actually doing good now uh, I don't know if it's a combination of the heat and the shade uh, which is probably why they're doing so good right now but I've got a couple places that I want to put cucumbers. So we're going to do some cucumbers, two different types of okra. I'm finally getting this orange okra in the ground today. And then this is called a motherland okra. Look how big that plant is. So I'm definitely anxious to see this one grow. Now I know what you're probably thinking, hey, y'all already, you already got a lot of okra out here. Yeah, but I want to stagger my crops. These are all pretty mature. And in three to four weeks, they'll probably be done when these are coming on. So constantly stagger your crops, even in the summertime. And I'm gonna do some, well, these are some other squashes. This is a honey nut squash. And then this one is, I don't know how to pronounce that, but we're gonna get those in the ground today. Okay, so right off the bat, what am I gonna do first? Well, right now I wanna plant the squashes. Now, again, I'm not going to plant all of them, but I'm going to plant quite a few of these seeds and then I'll thin them out as they grow. But the first thing I need to do is prep this bed. Now, I'm going to plant them in this bed right here. I'm going to plant them in this bed. I'm going to get all these tomato cages out of here and then start doing some rows. Now, these beans that are growing, I'm going to leave in for now because they're putting nitrogen into the soil. But I'm going to create rows and get these squashes in the ground. That's the plan. And then I did want to show these Chinese red long beans. I mean, look at these. Look at how long these beans are. And it goes all the way to the roof. But look at those things. They're like over two foot long. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, so again, not that I'm gonna keep beating a dead horse on these Chinese red long beans but these things grow really good pretty cool too and they don't taste bad if you get them outside of that pot for sure but hey <laughs> this is gonna be a planning video so let's plant okay so I'm not sure what part of that the camera fell over in but wherever it is I'm gonna leave it in as a end video blooper because I'm sure that was fun but so what I've done is I've cleared this all out now I'm gonna create the rows and get the stuff planted okay so as you just saw I put in the rows now, at the beginning of the video, you saw me making a soil. 
Like, what is he doing? Well, that's my own soil, soil blend that I make. And I have used this soil blend in the bottom of every single hole, every potted plant, every anything that I plant, I use this soil mix. And I'll add a bone meal and a blood meal to it also, just to give it that extra boost. But I'm gonna lay that in the, in the holes and then start planting. Okay, and just like that, the squash plants are all in. Uh, I planted one, two, I planted five different squashes right here, along with the butternut squash that's already growing, and another secret squash that I think is finally starting to come up, but we'll see. It's one I saw on Baker Creek, and I thought, man, that looks like a fun one to plant. So um, the seeds haven't taken off yet, but we'll see. I, I think one is coming up, and if that plant does what it's supposed to do, what Baker Creek says it'll do. Uh, I'm excited to see that plant. For those of you that watch the channel, you know this is the bed that I had the squash and zucchini in in spring and I got nailed with those vine bores. So Chad, why are you planting in the same bed? Well, it's been four months, three months. The heat has been insane. So any eggs that would have been in this soil, I believe would be dead by now. And the next time you all see this bed, it will be littered with the mothball water jugs everywhere because i'm telling y'all that has worked for that zucchini plant right over there so far and i've got three good sized zucchinis growing on that plant and not a single not a single vine bore egg yet so we'll see so this will be the big test if those mothball water bottles can keep this big bed hidden or masked from the vine bore moth then <laughs> hey i'm gonna mothball water the whole garden <laughs> so let's go do the carrots real quick okay so as i mentioned at the very beginning of this video the carrots i'm going to put in areas that already have big plants next to them to help shield them from the sun now this isn't the most ideal place to put carrots at this time of year but this is where i'm going to do it first we need to clear this area out now, if y'all remember, these were beans. I'm not gonna pull the beans out. I wanna leave the bean roots in the ground because they should have nitrogen nodules all over them, and that will help the carrots. Okay, now for carrots, you don't wanna sow them deep. You basically just wanna kinda put them on top of the soil, water them in, and kinda put just a light dusting over them with your soil. That's what I do. I never plant them deep at all. Like like at all. So the, I'm gonna use my soil mix. I'm gonna lay a, a healthy little bed right here and then I'm gonna just kinda broadcast so the carrot seeds in here and you know, let mother nature do its thing. One really good thing about me adding my soil mix to this to this bed or to the other beds is I'm also amending those beds at the same time. So amending doesn't always have to be this chore. It could be part of planting. And if you do it right, you don't even think about it. And it's totally, totally beneficial to your beds. Helpful hint of the day. All right, so in this bed, we're gonna do these rainbow mixed carrots. Never grown these. And I'm really anxious to see how they grow. And I'm going to try to keep the seeds kind of spread out but my hands are wet, got dirt in my nails, so we'll see. Okay, everybody, that's it. Carrots in this batch, in this batch, in this patch right here are planted. Only thing I need to do is water them in. And I have a sprinkler head attached to my irrigation system in this area for that reason. I have found that if I bring the hose and water them in, it pushes the seeds too deep and I don't get as much of a yield. So I use a sprinkler that's attached to my irrigation system out here to kind of do a light sprinkle. And I found 
in spring of this year when I planted, that worked really good. Now, I have another set of carrots. Okay, so I'm completely speechless that I just had a hawk land on my fence. <laughs> wow. And I think there's a bird over here hiding from the hawk. Yep, right there. Right there. Nature, y'all. Nature. <laughs> Boy, that is something else. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. I'm going to plant my second set of carrots in an area that you probably wouldn't expect me to plant them, but I'm going to do them for a reason, and I'm going to explain that right now. Okay, so right here behind me is my pepper bed. If you all remember from any of my videos that I've done, uh, garden tour videos, you know this is the pepper bed. But I'm going to plant the carrots. Not a lot of carrots. This is kind of going to kind of be a test, but I'm going to plant a, a healthy handful of carrots in amongst in amongst the peppers because carrots are a natural companion plant to peppers so let's do it okay so as you're seeing right now what I'm doing is I'm going to do I'm putting in a, a couple rows not a lot again this is going to be an experiment that I can put my soil mix down as you see as you see that I'm doing right now, I'm putting down my soil mix and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some seeds across it, tap some, uh, put some more soil on top, and then I'm done. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so one super important thing when you're planting carrots is you've got to make sure that you keep the soil moist or wet. Now a lot of people will put a board across the top of your area where you plant the carrots because it takes about eight to ten days for the carrots usually to start sprouting and in that time you have to keep them wet now I'm not going to do that because quite honestly I've never done that and being real I don't have a board to do this with so I'm going to do it the way I've always done it but I am going to do a video in about a month or so where I'm going to focus on a certain method that I've yet to do here on this channel I'm still reading about it and educating myself on it so I'm not going to announce it yet but I'm going to do a test area of nine carrots and see if that theory is a theory that I should really start focusing on, maybe for next year. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Okay, last thing that we have to plant are the okra. Okra is really simple. I'm putting it in the blasting sun. Oh, and the and the cucumbers. I'm gonna plant a few cucumbers and see what they do. Um, I don't know if they're gonna grow, to be completely honest. But these are kind of old cucumber seeds, so why not give it a shot? <laughs> okay, right here behind me is where we're going to do the okra and the cucumbers. Now, if you look right down here, I've got this trellis system built. Now, I actually built this thing for cucumbers last year, and they never grew. So, I'm going to give it another shot. We're going to put some cucumbers right on along this trellis, the bottom. and then you walk around. And then right over here in both of these open areas, I'm just going to fill this area in with the orange okra, and those motherland okras right right in here i'm gonna do two rows on each and then that'll be it for okra i mentioned to y'all at the beginning of the summer or spring summer i was going to be okra heavy this year i am definitely okra heavy because <laughs> got okra here big okra back there and then over there in that corner is more okra so this is going to be more okra. Again, I'm growing these as an experiment to find which of these plants that I like the most. And then next year, that's all I'm going to plant for the most part, at least to eat. So here we go.
Okay, everyone, so that's the video. Hope you all got something out of this. It was, it took me about 40 minutes to do all the planting. Um, probably would have been shorter if I wasn't filming, but that's fine. I'm here to help, here to teach, here to show you what I do, and if, hey, if I'm doing something that y'all think is wrong, put it down in the comments. I don't mind. The constructive criticism is incredibly welcome here. Okay, so hey, if y'all have not subscribed to the channel and you would like to, please do so. Click the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. Check out the Facebook and Instagram pages. As always, I'm, and I'm going to continue saying this until I stop making this channel, or I stop making videos on this channel. But continue to shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. Well, these are some other squashes. This is a... <laughs> okay. This is a honey nut of a yield. So I use the hose that's attached to my irrigation system out here. Or, so I use a sprinkler that's attached. I, I mentioned to y'all at the beginning of the summer or spring, summer, that I was going to be <clears throat> that I was going to be. I sure wish this thing would stop falling over. And I'm going to say this until I stop doing this channel. Harvest, shine, harvest, harvest and shine. Hey, everybody. All right, everybody. <clears throat> All right, everybody. So, hey, today...